Friday of the seventh week of Easter reflection. If you can remember, when he was condemned in Jerusalem, the Lord in that night spoke to him, Courage, take courage. So as you have testified to the facts about me in Jerusalem, so you must testify also in Rome. This word asking him to go to Rome by the Lord was haunting him in Paul's mind, my dear friends. So now he is targeting that, nothing else. So he was sent to Rome. Of course, then in those days, Agrippa, the king of Benis, arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There is a man left prisoner by Felix, and when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of Romans to give up anyone before the cause that met the accusers fa face to face. Uh, anyone be before the accused met the accusers face to face and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. So when they came together, here I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribune tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. Now, now see the background. And now the most important thing, they brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. Rather they laid had certain points to dispute with him about their own religion and about certain Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Being at a loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody, custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. Now his target is to go to Jerusalem because the Lord wanted, why? To minister, to spread the gospel, to take care of the sheep. I mean, what a dedication. All happens with his love for Jesus. He met him at Damascus and said to you, why do you persecute me? So it was, he was brought to this me Jesus, my Jesus relationship. And it was a personal, you read all the Pauline letters, it's all about the relationship with Jesus. In Ephesians, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 7 onwards, he said, I, I consider these things rubbish because of Jesus. All because of him. The difference, that is a secret. That love, you will be you will be taken to that love by the Holy Spirit. Of course, when you are done crushed, Holy Spirit would be easy to start from your zero. So that's the that's yours, your energy. Peter's Peter, in the gospel we find he had a certain energy to fight, to and he said, I will not, I will never leave you. But then he fell to that level of dust. And if you read if you read Luke chapter 7 onwards, how in the, when Simon, Pete, Simon's place, a, 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 a woman, sinful woman came and washed his feet with, his, with her tears. Jesus said, those who are forgiven more will love more. Exactly this what happened with Peter. And Jesus came to see Shuri, see show. Tiberius, Tiberius. And then he after Jesus prepared a meal and he was waiting until they come to the seashore. And then 
They had breakfast. Gospel starts from there. When Jesus arrived, himself revealed himself to his disciples. They had finished breakfast. Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Now, this is not a simple question. It speaks about the supremacy of Pope. First Pope, Peter. So you need, you are going to be the leader. So you have to love me more than others do. Because you have a greater calling, greater cause to be accomplished. Without which, without that love, you won't be able to do. So that's exactly why, my dear friends, it's important. It's all with that relationship. Of course, the very Peter who said, Lord, I love you. But then Jesus asked them to wait in Jerusalem until they receive the power from above. Then only they will go into the experience. Then he says, if it is love, it should flow, isn't it? Lord, you know that I love you. So it no longer, I love you, Lord. And I'm, I'm confident, I'm certain that I love you. No longer I involve. Lord, you know that I love you. I don't know because I have already betrayed you. Ran away from you. Then see, the Lord said, Feed my lambs. Feed my lambs. Lambs are very vulnerable, very delicate. 100% depend on the, on the shepherd. Now the Lord is asking him to feed my lamb, not yours. They are mine. So you, without which, if you don't have that love for me, you will be tired with the sheep. That's exactly why Peter in his letter says, don't, don't take care of your sheep out of persuasion because of a salary with ulterior model. No, do it joyfully. So the, the relation, that love, Holy Spirit will fill your heart with that love. So in that love, you will do anything when you fall in love with Him. My dear friends, so then Jesus won't stop there and He asks for the second time. Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Tend my sheep. My sheep, not lambs. Then it's my sheep. So it's, it's a deeper calling. Deeper calling. With, with whom? Because of you love, because of your love towards the Lord. Because you love me, you will do anything. That's important. So Holy Spirit should fuse yourself to His love. Connect yourself to His love. There is no other way. And then for the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep, my dear friends. So third, three times because of the guilt, Three times he negated the Lord and now three times he is accepting. Jesus wants to go to the very core of the wound and heal him. Not to make him, put him to an awkward position. No. It's important. All, all what he had for Jesus, that love. He could bear, he could bear anything in life out of his love towards the Lord. Today I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk whatever, wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This he said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify God. And after saying this, he said to him, follow me. My dear friends, calling within and calling. The Lord is calling him again. Follow me, it's a different calling. And with the Holy Spirit, that love will be certainly connected. We'll experience that love, His love. And when you experience His love, you'll begin to love Him. Because we love each other because He first loved us. In that love, you'll be able to love the sheep. That's your calling. That's your motivation. That should be your motivation and purpose and mission in life. Amen. May God bless you.